Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm coming from Shepton Mallet, which is the most haunted prison in the world. Is that right, Jeremy? We like to think so. Jeremy, who is dressed as a prison officer, is actually going to be showing me around. Jeremy, you're going to take me into some very spooky areas of yeah. this prison. Now, um, it was a prison up until 2013. Yeah. And obviously dating back to the 1800s, this place has got a lot of history, a lot of ghosts. You guys told me that I needed to come here. So Jeremy is my tour guide, someone to hold my hand. We're going to go and take a look around Shepton Mallet Prison. keep people in. The barbed wire on the fence, look, still there. And then the weirdest thing that you see is a, is a cafe, <laughs> just there. We're talking about this area before you come into the prison was used uh, a long time ago for execution. The wasn't firing it? Yeah. was during the Second World War. So that was all up in on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, and you were saying this during the tour that- uh, They're still there. They're still on the ground, they're still under here. And so when they thought about turning this into a um, housing, they obviously dug down to see what was there yeah. and they did find some bodies, yeah, bodies but stuff. they haven't moved them. They're not allowed to move them. You can, but you have to petition Parliament and it goes right the way up for the, well, I was about to say the Queen, but now I guess it would be the King to give the nod. So, so you're so not allowed to move them for, uh, within 100 years. So 2026, they'll be able to come up without it being a hassle. How many bodies are here? There's seven here. There's seven. I'm not for, you know, sacrilegious, I'm not going to actually walk over there. Do you, do you, when you tell people to that, do they go, I'm not going to, I'm yeah, not going to go and stand on the that. The best ones, you get a big school group and there's that, like half a dozen of them on there and they all like, jump <laughs> off. Oh, really? Saying, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wall just here is where the yes. firing squad, and the thing is, is obviously everything, any bullet holes have been patched up. The, um, we are told that they were patched up. I can't really see anything, I'm, no. but I don't really know what it would look like. Would it be a cluster? Because, I mean, they'd all be aiming for the heart. Well, exactly, yeah. I mean, like, you could literally see, well, there's bits, yeah. and it, you wouldn't know, like... No. Nah. And how big was the platform? If the platform came up to here, then the chest is going to be up there. Yeah. If it's down here, like my chest sort of there. Torture back in those days, I guess they didn't care. But No, no. It was weird that they chose this particular spot. Okay, so we're going to go into the prison, uh, into some of the cells, which I believe are yeah. some of the most haunted cells. Yeah. So, is it, so which wing would you say is the most haunted here at Shepton? Well, the one that I know most about the individual cells is going to be B wing. B wing. My personal feeling is that what gives me the creeps most is A wing. Really? Yeah. But I think is it because I, it's smaller? I don't, I think just anybody you ask, you're likely to have a different perception. People often say sea wing, but for me, I, I, it's just if I find a place that's creepy uh, in the prison, uh, I would say it's sea wing. Wow. And I'm here sometimes at midnight or whatever, and that's, that's the, place, the only place I feel really, really spooked, yeah. I'm literally walking into the prison right now, and um, just very quickly, this is where a lot of the prisoners used to work on the treadmills, which are the most weirdest thing ever. Mm. What was the purpose of the treadmills? Did they actually make anything from no, the treadmills? No, in most prisons they serve no purpose. It was just a monotonous wow. thing that kept people occupied. But Crazy. ours was connected to a mill, so it, what, they were powering the millstones. So you cut the, the original treadmills are not in there, obviously, anymore? No, they were removed no. at the beginning of the 20th century. And I think we can see a photo yeah. here. Look at that. That's a more modern one. Oh, that's, really? That's how it would have been early so you can see it's very open there that's the kind of thing that would have been going on in the 1890s and how long would they have to do that for a day 10 hours a day non-stop uh they'd be on for a quarter of an hour off for five minutes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get your breath back. yeah that's crazy <laughs> and you were saying on the tour that um one of the most recent breakouts 
was done yeah, from that top there, window. Yeah. And he did. So how did they get from the roof over to they the wall? They had uh, they tied together bedding, so sheets and blankets and so forth. Which they were able to sling across. We believe they must have had assistance on the outside <laughs> to hold that torque. What year was that? Got, uh, that was 19, uh, 1987. And it makes you think, how did they get out? Uh, they, through the ceiling. Right. And, and then into the roof cavity. Uh, and then punch out through the tiles. And it makes the... you think, how did nobody notice that they were doing that? Well, exactly. Where was all the bedding going? Yeah. So they could have done that in an hour. So you think it... they've been doing that for a week? It could have been an inside job, couldn't it? it could very well have been. <laughs> would you fancy that? No, no I don't I think would I say, would. I wouldn't do that with the modern sort of safety gear, safety harness. The Is this itself. the highest part of the wall here? No, it's not. No, it's the not. highest part's over by a wing, by the hanging shed. Wow. And we'll be going there in just a second. That is pretty, pretty high. But this is pretty high, so over 50 feet. So this bit looks really spooky. Yeah, so, old gate lodge there. So this is where the prisoners would have come in. They would have come through the gates here. The gates through here. From the road. And they would have gone through there. I'm going to quickly go up. Sure. stairs because it's one of the most paranormally active it is indeed yeah areas yeah but as you can see it's very narrow tight it is so these would have just been offices oh no i think these these were his living quarters for the uh the gatekeeper oh, wow. back in the day i mean not yeah. obviously recent time. i think that was an old fireplace, fireplace yeah. yeah and i assume that the, the upstairs one would have been the bedroom did you say this, this top part is the most yeah. active, is it? Right. And you say that um, a lot of paranormal teams come in here and they do... A call and response session. Yeah. If anyone does know about EVPs, when electronic voice phenomena, yeah. it's when people call out. Yeah, do digital recordings, yeah. and then they listen to that back on a computer, take out the foreground, uh, you know, enhance the background, and then see if you get responses coming back. Obviously, I would say we're going to be quite with some work going on, so it's not going to have the same effect. No, no. <laughs> they would generally come and do it at night. Yeah, of course, yeah. when it's super quiet. Yeah. It's weird to think that this would be one of the most active areas when no prisoners were here, no one that we know died here. We, we just don't know. Maybe back in the day it probably could have been used. Who knows what would have Who gone knows? on Who in knows? these walls? I know that there's a hole under here. Uh, oh. Which is getting bigger by the day, actually. They oh didn't used to be that big. But um, I've heard a story of one of our, uh, somebody who was recording EVPs up here. She had a friend who was at the bottom uh, and called out, and uh, she looked through the hole and she felt uh, something was strangling her. I'm right. Got out of here, <laughs> and I don't know whether it's because the room is small, but you do get an odd feeling up here. And, and I would imagine the structure of it is very old. The, the prison dates back to the 1600s. Yeah. And so this was discovered whilst, in recent times, whilst they've been surveying to see how they can develop the site. Well, this is really interesting. So these, these are cells, are they, through here that was we discovered? they're holding cells. 400 years old. I can go in? Yeah, yeah, if you want. Yeah. Wow. Okay, here we go. It's nice that someone's put a map down. <laughs> oh, spooky. Oh my God, Jeremy. There's, oh, the hand. there's a hand. Yeah. <laughs> that just freaked me out then. It really did. See, I don't know whether it's because I just saw that hand, but I've got kind of like shivers going down from my head down to my toes. I want to get out of here. I'm trying to do it elegantly as I can. <laughs> do you get a lot of people like going in there? If you're claustrophobic, it's probably not um, a good idea, is it? So apparently these two rooms were known as punishment cells and they would be thrown in here without any food and water and obviously it'd be pretty dark. Oh, how awful. There's another one here. Let's come inside this one, shall we? This one's a bit more bigger, but still. Awful place to be. So the exercise yard, and this was used up until obviously the well. Oh, in modern times. In modern times, yeah. The, I understand these gardens were put in in the early 2000s and paid for by Michael Evis of Glastonbury Festival. Is what I've been told. And, and obviously this is the uh, the governor's the governor's house. The house. top two yeah. floors. He'd have lived there. Uh, the others would have been offices there. Uh, in more recent times, that was the major incident room. At the top, it's like a big board room. And what are the? Um, you see those chimneys? Yeah. Are they? Were they just the heating systems? Were they? Uh, it, 
I would imagine a combination between of heating and ventilation yeah. as well. Let's head into we're going to go into the prison yeah, wings. Yeah, B wing next. And the executioners. So everyone has their, I would say, uh, wings think that they all, think yeah, is most wanted. It's where wanted. you feel uncomfortable, and this is definitely it. Because our staff room for uh, the likes of me is up there. Along here, uh, Miss Solomon's second floor there. And they go up these stairs, which we'll come across in a moment. I oh, wow. Somebody's been here very recently. They press the button. Ah, I was going to say that is weird. Ah, yeah. Because people press buttons and they can hear information yeah. and stuff like now, that. Now, our staff room is just off there. And I find whenever I come down here, I kind of trip up on that step all the time, like every time. <laughs> on the same step? Yeah, so start. Even so. if you're conscious of it? Yeah. You've got um, an idea of what it was like. Just sort of shadowy pictures and uh, images in there. And then we got some others. So they actually did put straw down, did they? One of the problems, of course, in these days is you're getting lice and all manner of things. Oh, of course. So if anyone knows about this prison, they'll know that the Crays were here. Yeah, yeah. And is it haunted by them? Reputedly, uh, there has been uh, and somebody in Sea Wing uh, recorded, uh, well, took a photograph of a pair of them on one of our ghost tours, and then there was a mysterious hand in the picture, oh my gosh. Uh, which had a, a, a ring on the specific finger and, no and has been way. identified as a uh, cray. That uh, could have been doctored cray. though. These date back from 1825. Yeah, 1850. That's Cornelius Minty's son of, of Sarah Minty, who's on down there. So somebody's followed through a family who spent time in yeah. here. Jail fever, of course, this is caused by or a typhus fever rather than typhoid, uh, just by flea bites and mice, and that would have been common here. This, can we go in the shower? I don't know if it's open, you can. Oh, yeah, oh, there's a bit of a, bit of a draft. So is this the men's win or the women's? Uh, th this would have been here when it was a mixed prison. This would have gone in uh, in much more recent wow. times. The fact that there's toothbrush I'm sure they've been put there, right? Oh, um, no idea. <laughs> they've never been found here. Stuff is found oh, wow. here all the time. Uh, whenever anything happens here, you, you disturb anything. We had quite a problem with suffragette here. A lady called Mabel Capper. She disturbed a meeting at Bath Pavilion, which uh, you have Lloyd George talking at, and smashed up some uh, windows in the post office afterwards on her way back to the station. Uh, and was arrested and was imprisoned here. She'd been arrested on a number of occasions uh, and had indeed been force-fed uh, during previous incarcerations, but we do not believe she was force-fed here. I like the fact, well, I don't know if I like the fact that he's got his eyes shut. Shut, yeah. <laughs> winking. Taking aim, taking aim. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was like winking again. Now, we, but you wouldn't believe it, but we have terrible trouble with this because people nick bits of it. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> So this is actually one of the, the internal doors, which is locked up. I was going to say, because most, because <laughs> that's one thing which we'll notice um, when we go to the, the other wing, that all of the cells are open. They yeah, are no longer no locked. Locks, you can't no. accidentally, if you do come on a tour, you can't accidentally get no. um, locked in. So before we go into the other one, should we... Uh, you can go along there. Have a look yeah. at the executioner's room. Now, this would have been death row when the Americans were here. There would have been cells here. Uh, in later times, it's been turned into a surgery. I mean, like, I guess for people coming here for the first time, they would feel a bit weird uh, and a bit spooky. But obviously, I've done the tour with Jeremy yeah. already, but Jeremy's just shown me a few little bits that I wanted to show you guys because my memory's not always that great. Jeremy will <laughs> help me out with some bits of information. So, this is where the condemned would have their last yeah. few moments, days. Well, the last couple of weeks, last couple of weeks in the 20th century. And the weirdest thing is, is you said they'd have carpet. Yeah, probably not this carpet. Not, no, not this carpet. And it would have been twice the size of this. So you've taken part of it uh, for a fire escape in more recent times. There's a staircase. Oh, I see, this. right. And the thing is, is that they wouldn't tell the prisoners coming in here that yeah. there was a this bookcase across here which would be moved to one side but you, it makes you think why would they bother doing that they know they what's going to happen why did they the the idea i think is that to move them as quickly as possible and to do it as quickly as possible ah, i see so they thought they were probably yeah. going out yeah. that door when secretly it's behind here yeah. they would think that they're going to be taken off to somewhere but the guys would come in stand them up secure their hands through here and it'd be done pretty much before they even realized wow. what's happening yeah and that's um this is where it would have happened. Yeah, 
So this has obviously been recreated to some extent. Well, um, basically we've taken the floorboards up because this room's been reused, been repurposed over the years. And this, uh, is, the, this is the craziest thing we, you were saying on the mm, tour, that this yeah. has been used previously yeah. as offices. It's been a library for a library is, yeah. no one would ever know that no. and obviously these were well, you saying these walls weren't here it would be near just a you, brick wall yeah they wouldn't be yeah they wouldn't have plasterboard there. so we're literally there yeah you're by that window yeah, yeah. there we are i'll show you that from the outside obviously right yeah. now so. the condenser would have had a window in it originally obviously we've lost that because it's where the fire escaped oh wow look and it even says there what they yeah. would have been read may lord have mercy upon your soul yeah chills so another interesting fact jeremy and this is odd so the executioner would have his own accommodation opposite where what he was going to do i don't know if it was always oh, opposite. Okay. it is here it may not have been. so was it a job i guess that um was a skilled job back in the day and to do it properly it would have been but they wouldn't have been full time they would have all had other mm. occupation i mentioned albert pierpoint several times because he's, he's our best known executioner he ran a pub for instance in salford in greater manchester so he could be summoned down to shepton i guess one question you would ask is if it doesn't run in the family you, where do you go to train that yeah. sounds weird you wouldn't go somewhere yeah. to train to be an executioner you, you'd have to know something <laughs> so which wing are we heading into now b wing b wing through there this is D here, and this is the care and segregation. What's that? The, this, this is punishment area, essentially. Do if they think they're going to get through there, they're not going to get through that. Yeah. And we just must quickly mention that the, um, in fact, actually, if we go upstairs, because this has been used for TV shows, and oh, this is yeah. why it's been painted in, it actually kind of looks, looks very modern. Yeah, and people are going, yeah. I thought this was an old prison. It's been here since yeah, the 1800s. Years old. I shot this earlier, but you can see me walking around here and just how old it is on the upper levels. Yeah. Now, it's very quiet, and you said there are certain cells that are more haunted than others. Cell eight is one that we get a lot of uh, reaction from. Cell number uh, eight. A lot of incidents, uh, incidents happening in there. Uh, we also get them down here. One is uh, one where the door sticks, but it slams there. So it's quite sticky. And it slams shut. But it will slam shut sometimes. So it isn't likely to be the wind causing that because I've had to, well, you see me actually having to physically pull it. You also get the, uh, the cupboard door swinging in here. I don't know, you know when you've been, um, something's just scared you and you get yeah. the, the feeling afterwards where you, your head's still tingling. That's the feeling I get in there. Yeah. <laughs> but you find these other doors, how easy they swing. Yeah. And that one doesn't. But if that one slams shut, then something's making it shut. So you say number eight. Number eight is one that's uh, always had uh, a reputation. Uh, it, when it was a working prison, prisoners used to complain about being in there. Really? Uh, and sometimes they demand to be let out and into another cell. Uh, and there have been stories of uh, uh, people being a uh, sort of s sensation of having somebody sat on their chest. Uh, one time uh, where we had two prisoners in here, I can't remember exactly when, uh, 80s or 90s, but they were really frightened, banging on the door, banging on the door uh, to be moved, and they said that a woman had walked through the wall. My God. So you would say this is probably one of the most haunted? This is one where we know that back in the day when it was a working prison, it was one where they got a lot of reports. Of wow. Every year there would be an incident in here. Which is strange because all these cells are exactly the same. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there are slight differences. And it makes size. you think, why is this one any different? Now, normally um, I do hotel videos and I'll do a review of the bed. So <laughs> maybe I'll check the bed out. Here we go. I don't, know, I don't know if I want to. It would have had a mattress on it. Yes, so it's actually, you'll be surprised. They, they are not uncomfortable. They're not. And if you had a mattress on that, it'd be fine. Well, I can't say I want to spend the night, Jeremy, but yes. yes. I think I want to get out of here. <laughs> so at the bottom here used to be a bathhouse, you yeah. said. So in any of the tin baths still down there? No, there's nothing. You can go down if you want. Is there? But there's nothing down there. This is just a vaulted room. Oh, just a vaulted which, room. Which kind of goes underneath this bit here. Um, I do quite often do ghost tours and um, when they finish and everyone goes, uh, they sort of go on to the leather uh, in the evening and then me and whoever it is, we're never on our own. So yeah. Do you know what? I know this sounds weird, Jeremy, and I don't know whether you just said that, but I feel like really tight chested. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know. And I'm not, I'm yeah. not, I'm not joking. I do. Yeah. Just when you're talking there, I feel really tight chested. 
just after we went in that room, and you said people pressing. Yeah, yeah. That's very, that is very strange. Honestly though, I, I'm not making that up. I do feel yeah. really tight chested. That's one of the things people get. Oh, do they? Sensation. Same with uh, round the neck as well is a common one. Now you've told me that, I'll, I'll, I might get that. <laughs> Let's just quickly just have a look yeah. up here. Cause obviously, as I said, this has been repainted for a, a TV show, but yeah, up here yeah. hasn't. Yeah, it looks, um, it looks very different up here. Yeah. That's been done recently, right? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, why, who has done that? <laughs> wow, yeah, look at the difference. This was quite big, isn't it? There's yeah. probably three people in here back in the day. You had a, 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 so you'd a have bunk, bunk beds. A bunk and a, a single there. Oh, on the south side, come up here. I mean, I'd wear twos. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know they're all very, oh no, this is actually a lot no, bigger. this is a double. Yeah. This is a double one. Yeah, the double's all on this side. This room is so spooky. There's a little shelf and a cupboard. Looks like someone's tried to chisel their way out. My God, look at the sink. There's an actual toothbrush. So these are the showers. So these would have been the women's showers. I wonder if they still, I doubt they do. So if anyone is familiar with my videos, right? And this is gonna sound very odd, but the showers that I've seen at Pontins are exactly the same as these, with that metal ring, the button in the middle, and even the shower head. I'm just gonna show you a video now of a Pontins that I recently visited, and look at the shower. It's the same that you'd get in prison. That's crazy. This is spooky though. So Jeremy, the last bit, which, which wing are we heading to now? Uh, sea wing. Sea wing. And again, some people say that this is the most haunted yeah, wing of the prison. They say there is this art installation going on. Yeah. Yeah. But again, this was a, a women's wing. This was specially built for women in the 1840s to replace a wing. Right. Uh, again, it's because they could keep them segregated more easily in here. And so they even had a workroom. Oh yeah, through that. Just in here. Yeah, so they would have been doing things like needlework, uh, repairing clothes, they'd have had a nursery here because there'd have been lots of babies born here. Oh wow, look at this, so this is... Um... Yeah, so this, this is a recess, so the big sink down here, that's where they'd have slopped out. But you'll, uh, during the day, uh, this would have also been used as a toilet seat, but actually got the urinal in this Is this like the original flooring? It looks um, like it could be. Yeah, maybe not original to maybe 18, not. 20, 18, well, 40, no. but uh, yeah, it's still it, from when it was prison, yeah. So what, what are these things outside of the... Uh... A whole water boiler, where they drip trays. You'd have a hot water boiler there, so prisoners would be able to take a, a, a flask of okay. water back to sell and make a brew. So is, any, so is, there, <clears throat> is, the, white, is the white lady apparently haunting this in this this wing although she's been known to appear elsewhere as well okay uh, but that is mainly associated with this wing the landing there and floating down the stairs yeah so is there any story about her any like history about I the white suppose lady suppose the story supposedly that uh, she was uh, sentenced to death for uh, murdering her fiance and uh, she asked to be able to wear her wedding dress on her final night. Oh, really? Uh, this was before uh, in the executions were in the house, so to speak, so this, she was due to be taken to town to be executed. Uh, but when she was found the next morning to be taken down to the uh, gallows, uh, she was dead. And they could find no trace of obvious cause of death, so no signs of uh, strangulation or uh, that she uh, poisoned herself. So it, they put her down, it down to the fact she died of a broken heart. Wow. But how modern would you say this is this now? This has got to be 1970s, I think. Yeah, it, I can tell by the curtains. Yeah. <laughs> it, does, it does look. It, it's got a bit of a 1970s school hall about it. It's very retro. So before the um, 1970s, was this still a chapel? And I think, would think in 90s, this building dates back to the 1970s. So prior to that, uh, it would have probably still been up in there. Or maybe they didn't have one for a period at that time. Ah, of course, yeah. I want to say a massive thank you to Nigel for guiding me around, all the staff at Shepton Mallet Prison, and if you would like to book your own personal trip around, all the details are in the description. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.